After a good field session of capturing drone videos, you want to copy the video off of your SD card. Uh, as you can see, if you do a lot of photos and videos, it can get confusing. Uh, but you can look back to the Compass Drone app, and the time should help you find the proper video that you're looking for. 9.54 a.m. 9.54 a.m. And also the length of the video. We estimated it. A minute and 58 seconds. We'll open the video. And you can see that this video is a minute and 58 seconds long. So pretty easy to match them up. Copy paste it to a directory on your computer. Uh, and then you want to go get the log that you emailed yourself. If you emailed it in the body of the message, you can simply copy everything and right click and create a new text document and it, it does make sense to name it the same as the video if you want and then just paste her into a text you don't need to change anything save it close it and that's re ready for the Esri multiplexer uh, the other option was to just send it as an attachment so we can copy it out of the email or download it paste it next to the video and, and there again uh, might make sense to name it the same as the video or whatever you'd like to name it but now we're ready to fire up ArcMap and this version ArcMap already has the Esri full motion video tool installed this will bring up the full motion video manager but the multiplexer is actually in the toolbox which can take a minute to load here we go Full motion video tools and video multiplexer. We'll go back to that folder and it's pretty straightforward drag and drop. Put the video here. Put the log here. Either one of these text or CSV logs will work. Uh, and then you tell Esri where you want to output the multiplex video. So I'm going to copy this path, paste it in here. Oops, and then you do need to tell it in that folder. Create a video. And you also need to include the file extension of mp4.mp4. Now it's happy. Uh, this calculate quarter corner coordinates is very important um, and this is where the reference altitude from the compass drone app comes in we'll pull that back up um, so along with the time and the length of the video we also include this reference altitude you want to input that here this is above sea level in meters 1971 uh, but then you say ok and you can see in the bottom right hand corner it's working you can also go back to that folder and here it's created the video and if you watch it uh, the video starts growing in file size and eventually when it's done the multiplex video will actually be a little bit bigger than the original video because it's embedded all that metadata into the video the entire process may take a couple minutes so I'll pause this video and pick it back up when it's done alright the multiplexing is done you can see that the multiplexed video is quite a bit bigger than the original uh, but once multiplexed you can just drag and drop this into the video manager and it will automatically bring up this video screen you can grab the corner and make it bigger or smaller We'll go ahead and push play. 
you'll see some coordinates in the bottom right hand corner and then you'll see the drone and also a field view but that's not very useful without a background map so you can add any imagery you have or you can add a base map I like the imagery with labels, but any of these work. Then you can zoom in. And we'll go ahead and play the video. The first time you play the video, it may be a little laggy, especially if it's on a network directory. Um, but after that, it should play smoothly. And you should be seeing the drone in the field of view. And in a minute here, the camera's field of view will rotate downwards. And I'll pause the video right here uh, because when the camera is at that negative 90 angle, that's when you're able to extract features accurately. Um, you can add a geodatabase and start measuring points, lines, and areas. Um, with this tool here, we can click on some cattle and it displays them in the field. Uh, we could also click on the image and it would display it in the video. Either way, um, so points, lines, area features are very cool. And if you like, you can also extract that single video frame as an image by clicking this button here. So that's the basic overview. Get the image and the log. Uh, in a folder and then multiplex them and drag and drop into this video. Manage your tool, part of the FMV extension. We do have another video if you need help with the FMV installation.